welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a video that I have been putting off for way too long. I can't believe I bought this palette in January and it's like the middle of February and I still haven't filmed with it, which is why I need this like low buy situation. Um, but today I am filming with the Tati Beauty palette. You guys saw me talk about this in my ranking, my January purchases video. And I said I hadn't used it yet and so many of you were like, film the Tati Beauty video! And so here we are and I created this look with this palette. I really don't feel like swatching this palette. I feel like you guys have already probably seen a million different swatches. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, really quick, I am gonna plug my merch because I ordered it in a long sleeve. So this is the blue long sleeve and I was making salad and I totally got salad dressing all over this shirt but I don't have any shame so I still wore it in this video so yeah it's not the um, highest quality t-shirt material but I'm used to material like this because these are like the quality of shirts like if you've been to college recent ish <laughs> um, this is the kind of shirt that they use to like do free shirts so if you guys want me to do like a nicer material I totally can just let me know and I'll create that in Teespring but these ones are just like the classic t-shirt and I don't mind them like I think they're like a fun basic shirt to like throw on when you're like running errands and stuff like that so just give me your feedback on what you might like to see in the store. It's just been so fun for me to do this and hear you guys' thoughts and comments and things like that. So let me know your thoughts on that and let's get into how I created this look. Okay, I'm about to film with the most anticipated, I feel like, video or palette on my channel since last month because I bought this palette in January was one of my purchases, but I haven't used it yet and I told you guys that my first impressions I definitely wanted to film So here we are we're sitting down So many of you keep asking me to film a video with this palette So I'm like, okay, let's do it because I kind of explained that I bought it because So many of my friends were saying they didn't like it And so now I'm like, oh my gosh, like what side of the fence am I gonna be on? Am I gonna like it? And it's definitely confirmed that this brand, Tati Beauty, is made in the same facility as ColourPop. So I'm very curious, not expecting it to be just like ColourPop, but I'm expecting to see similarities. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So um, you guys all are familiar with this palette. I think I'm going to go into this just like muted shade in the aura section, just the matte, just to kind of see. I'm just gonna lay this in my crease area with a fluffy brush. This is a brush from Alter Ego. It's number L, I think, I don't know. I am a little out of breath, but don't worry. I will survive. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just watched Jeffree Star's video with Mama Mitchell. <laughs> he did his makeup with the new Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. And I am contemplating picking that up for a February palette. So if you guys are watching this video and you have an opinion about the Bloodlust palette, like, if you guys would like to see it on my channel, would you guys do me a favor and just comment? I used to love getting Jeffree Star palettes, but now that they're sold at Morphe stores, you know, people are just able to, people that live in bigger cities are able to just go buy them same day and get like videos up the same day. So it usually takes me way longer to get in a palette than somebody that has access to a Morphe store. So, it wouldn't be like the first video up, which is fine, but I also want to know like, would it still matter then to you to see a video from me or are you guys kind of okay if I don't pick it up? I think I'm going to buy it 
just for myself, I'm really curious. And so far in February, I've picked up the Love Palette, the Millennial Pink Palette by Melt. Both I've filmed videos on already. I'm gonna return the Melt Palette. I've pretty much decided that I've got it packed up. I just have to mail it back to Melt. So then I've only purchased one palette and then I bought the new Terra Moon Multichromes. Um, but I don't know when those are gonna be here. I think that was like a pre-order. So technically I still have three opportunities to purchase for February. So I might get Jeffree Star as number two. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, I don't know. So yeah, let me know if you have an opinion. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into Poet Matte, which is like the beautiful pink section. Just gonna blend that. So I did get my brows done, which I'm excited about. I think that my makeup just looks so much better when my brows are done because there's like that nice gradient. I like to have a little bit of skin showing. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a clean AOA brush. This is just a little pencil brush. Go back into the Aurora Matte and just blend the outer corners so that it's not like pink all the way up to my eyebrow. And then I want to grab a little bit of the sequin formula in the shade Poet, which has a beautiful pink um, shade and then like blue shimmers. And I'm just gonna see if I can, like, I don't know, most people were complaining about the sequin row. Um, and I think I wanna say somebody explained that a little bit of shimmer makes it like more blendable. It's not really about the matte. I personally don't see it doing anything spectacular, so I'm just gonna leave that there, but you can see like a light glitter on my eyes, I don't know. Now I wanna go into memory. I should probably grab a smaller brush. Okay, I'll grab the Sigma Precision Blender going into memory matte, which is a black. Just wanna deepen up the outer corner there. Oh, that is definitely a little bit more chalky. Not chalky, but crumbly. Oh, maybe it's the brush, I don't know. But I do wanna give the pink some depth. I think the biggest criticism I heard about this palette is that sequin shadows, so I'm almost like on purpose avoiding them because I'm scared. <laughs> and I honestly don't really know what to do with that row. Cause like, what is it for? You can't use that on the lids. It's just like a mess of glitter. So, not quite sure what we would do with that, but I like the gradient, it's nice and dark on the edges. So now let's try the shimmer shade from Poet. I'm just gonna do the purple on my lids and that'll be kind of like the look. So I'm just gonna take this Wet n Wild shadow brush and I'm not gonna wet it, I'm gonna try dry first, see if we can get pigmentation from it. Okay, I really like how this look turned out. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I just did the same two shades as the crease on the lower lash line and I used a Marc Jacobs eyeliner in my waterline and then I threw in Red Giant from Terra Moon because you guys know I love those as inner corner highlights and 
yeah, this is how it all turned out. And really quick, I do wanna tell you guys, in my January haul, I did show I bought two foundations. I broke my no foundations rule for these two foundations. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick review on them. So the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation is 0.95 fluid ounces. This is what it looks like. And I got two shades, but the shade that works for me is Caramel. In case you guys are my skin tone, if you're trying to buy this online, I did see this is now stocked on Ulta as well as Target. So you guys can pick it up there. And if you have a red card, you can get free shipping. So that's really nice. But I believe this is a $6 foundation and it says it hydrates and smooths complexion for a luminous finish, buildable coverage for normal to dry skin, shake well before use. Now, I'm shocked by how much I love this foundation. I had the original Photo Focus foundation that they came out with a few years ago. I did think that was all right, but in the end, I think I decluttered it or threw it away or I don't know what happened to my original one of this. But this one I love. I am so happy that I tried this out. It's so nice to have an affordable foundation in my back pocket. And honestly, I think the Dewy Claim is so, so perfect for this. And what I love about it is it's dewy, but it's so long wearing. So when I put this on my face, I can definitely feel like my complexion is very luminous, but it lasts through a whole work day for me, which is super important to me because you guys know I love looking like I have foundation on and I love having like a flawless look all day long. So typically when I do my makeup from work, which you guys will see if you follow me on Instagram, I do most days I wear a full face of makeup to work and I usually do my makeup at like 7 a.m. and it has to last till about at least seven when we get home and then I don't usually take my makeup off until I take a shower at night, which happens around 9, 10, 11 at night and I think this definitely clings on, which I really, really appreciate about that foundation. So if you've been wanting to know my thoughts on that foundation, I quickly wanted to slip it in here because I'm so bad at like coming back and telling you guys about my experience with products. So wanted to mention that. And then the Milani Screen Queen, I bought in two shades as well. And I basically mixed these two together, which is why I thought I'd talk about them today really quick. And this is the shade Toasted Chai. So I really love Milani. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands. So that's why I was so tempted to try this new foundation from them. And this is a natural finish foundation. So it says luminous natural skin finish, buildable, lightweight to medium coverage, long wear. This one, I feel like is a little bit drier than the Dewy Wet n Wild. I don't love this guy as much as I love this one. I could see myself repurchasing this. This one, I feel like I could live without, if that makes sense. I don't love this one as much, and I just wanted to mention that, but I want to use both of these up, obviously, and so I think a good way to use this would be to just pair it with some of my other foundations and just kind of get it through my collection. But just wanted to mention that really quick about those two foundations. So, so now back to the Tati palette. What is my first impression on this? I like it. I don't know if I wasn't expecting too much from it because I've seen so many reviews on it. Obviously, I didn't go into the glitters. I'm going out to like dinner at my husband's dad's house. So not really the occasion for glitter, but I will keep you guys posted on my thoughts on the glitters. Maybe I'll try and put them on the eyes and see what happens. I'm a little nervous. And then the sequin shades, I just not heard really anything about them. So I didn't, I tried putting this shade a little bit in the crease and it was fine. It's the same color as the matte, it just has glitter in it. So I don't really understand the point of those shadows. I know, I think I'd heard from Colourpop's video, or maybe it was Tati's video, that it having a little bit of glitter like that helps blend matte shadows. So that's why Colourpop does it, I think, but I don't understand, since she has this whole row of mattes, what the purpose is for the sequin shades. Not really sure, so yeah, that's, I don't know how to explain that, but like, I don't really know why she included that. The metallics, the one shade I tried was really nice. It was creamy. I didn't have to wet it. It foiled perfectly, so I like that. It could have probably just been 
you know, the metallics and the, the mattes. And I think she just tried to do something different by adding the row of glitters and adding that sequin row. I'll be curious to know if she continues that format since most of us are under the impression that there will be a volume two, three, four. I don't know. I'm hoping she'll do a colorful um, palette. But yeah, I I don't hate it as much as I... I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't hate it. Uh, so that's good. But I only tried really two formulas. So realistically, if you are buying this like as an everyday person, I guess I couldn't recommend it to you because I don't know that those other two rows would get any use in like a regular person's makeup routine. <laughs> but yeah. Those are kind of my first impressions. I don't hate the palette, which is good. I'm gonna try it again, try a few different looks. Now that I've filmed my first impressions, I can try it off camera, maybe do some neutral looks to work and see. I have been going back and forth, like some days I've been doing really colorful looks, some days I've been doing really neutral looks, so it's really interesting where my head space is at right now, where I'm just like, everything is just fun right now for me, as far as color and neutrals, and I feel like that's really reflected in the palettes that are coming out too. There's, you know, a good balance, I feel like, in the community, so that's exciting. But yeah, that is all of my thoughts on the Tati palette at this time. Let me know if you guys liked the palette or you didn't like the palette, if you have tried it, and if you didn't end up buying it, let me know why. I'm just so curious to hear your guys' take on Tati Beauty. So I will catch you guys in the comments and you will see me in my next video coming soon. Bye guys! <laughs>